With Valentine's Day coming up, a Lexington senior home hopes to show its residents how much they're loved. Josh Short tells us how you can help spread the joy. Receiving a handwritten card goes a long way. It's just like as if you were to write a postcard to your own grandmother who was living in Florida. Will Naylor is a vibrant life director at Preston Green Senior Living. Last year at his previous community, a whopping 4,000 cards came in for residents, some even coming from places like Canada. So when I had 4,000 cards last year, I don't want to be ambitious, but I want to get 5,000. Because if you do the math on it, that means every resident in this building would get about 50 cards, give or take a few. The small act of signing a Valentine's Day card might not seem like much at first, but for the residents who will read them, it makes a world of difference. And I know it would just blow our minds, all of our minds, to know that people care enough to just even sign a card, let alone drop it off or mail it. And the memory care would probably be very happy to get them too because so many times they're forgotten. And there's some rel um, residents here that have moved away or have lost all of their friends or family. And so just to have someone showing, hey, you're thought about, that would be wonderful. At the end of the day, every single card sent is a reminder that these residents aren't alone. I love it. I think it sounds really awesome for the people to do something like that. And I know the residents here would very appreciate it. It made me just step back and realize how much of an impact a small gesture of writing a card can do. In Lexington, Josh Short, Fox 56 News.